it's nerdy doll girl again here so this video is about my new dolls um, and what their storyline is going to be so as you guys know uh, at doll north I bought this gorgeous uh, angel toast doll named crow I think it was crow or raven and I did end up uh, trading him his body with my friend Courtney for a different body so that he has a body that I'm more comfortable with um, and so I did name him Azriel sorry I had to pause I'm like Asha Asha no not Asha Az Azriel <laughs> that is the problem when you have dolls with similar names uh, so this is Azriel, and I have decided on a storyline for him. So, and with that storyline, I have a bit of an announcement. So when I was bored, I did something that I should never have done. And that was to go on Alice Collection. It's, it's... <laughs> It's not a good idea when you don't have money <laughs> because they were having these amazing sales and I'm pretty sure that most of them are still on. Um, the one that I did is I don't think is on a, at this moment. Um, <laughs> but I ended up finding the perfect secondary character in my story. So yeah, I, I bought him. <laughs> I uh, I have been selling a lot of stuff to pay him off uh, but he was just so perfect for the character that I had in mind and so I put him on <laughs> I put him in my cart and I put a hundred dollars worth of accessories and stuff to be able to afford um, not to be able to afford because you know I shouldn't have bought anything but <laughs> to uh, get free shipping I added a hundred dollars worth of items so yeah uh, so I'm a little bit in debt right now something I said I wouldn't do and Azriel kind of didn't help me in that regards at Doll North I did pay them all off though but uh, but yeah so <laughs> My new character is going to be named Ezekiel, and he is a ring doll. My first ever ring doll. I am so excited and so nervous, and I just, I, I just want to scream. <laughs> so it's the first time I've ever had a ring doll, and I also it's the first time I have ever bought the full set for a doll so yeah <laughs> so the full set was actually only 66 or 76 dollars more than just buying the doll itself and with the full set you got the face up the eyes the wig and then the the whole outfit and the eyes alone were like, I have to have those eyes because those eyes are perfect for the character. <laughs> and if anyone else gets that, please, please let me know. Because, yeah, it was like, okay, that that is literally Ezekiel. When I look at that, that is Ezekiel. <laughs> so, um, yes. I will put a picture of my new doll up in the, or up in, I will put them here. So that is the warlock doll from Ring Doll. He is 
I'm getting the full set, as I said, and I'm just so excited, so excited. So I've never, like I said, I've never ordered from Ringdoll before. So if you guys have any um, information on how long they usually take and what the quality of the dolls are like and, you know, their bodies, what you think. Uh, unfortunately, there is not really many videos on YouTube about Ring Doll, and I have yet to find one about the Ring Doll teenage body. So, if you guys have any information about that, that would be awesome. And as you know, I'm going to do a box opening video because that's some of my favorite videos is box opening videos, and I will also do a review of the, of his body. So. If you guys are ready, I'm going to tell you the story that I have come up with. So, Azrael will be a demon. And I was kind of not sure about that because he's so beautiful and angelic looking. And when you, th well, when I think demon, I think scary and creepy and, you know, just when you see a uh, see one hopefully you don't see them all the time <laughs> they they are someone to be afraid of but then i was thinking about one of my favorite shows which is lucifer which i i have to say right now thank you netflix for picking them up for a fifth season because i was super upset about that now if all I can now if I can just get people to get the season three of Timeless then my life will be much better <laughs> so if you love Timeless again put your hands up because that was such a good show anyways off topic um, but Lucifer in it is so handsome Tom Ellis I think is the actor and he's just so adorable his British accent Oh, he's adorable. So I definitely was thinking, well, he he's very charming. He's very cute um, and handsome. So it's not like you have to have a demon be scary and creepy looking. In some ways it helps because they're more likely to be able to seduce a person into doing something wrong when they're attractive looking. Um, more so than looking like someone should run after you with a pitchfork. <laughs> um, but so anyways, so I was thinking that he is going to be a demon and then Azrael, um, Azrael, Ezekiel will be an angel. So he's very angelic looking, very innocent looking, beautiful as well, but in a more innocent looking way this guy is very de devilish <laughs> so the story that i was thinking of is that they are both um they both wake up at the same spot i'm thinking maybe at like a local park or somewhere that there people wouldn't see them uh being there right away so i was thinking like a, a forest or a park or something like that they wake up and neither one of them knows why they're here. They they know who they are. So Azrael knows that he's a demon, but he doesn't understand why he is on earth. And Ezekiel knows he's an angel and he doesn't know why he's on earth. So they've kind of, they've lost the memory of what happened to them, but they still know who they are and they remember where they came from so I want them to kind of being discovering what the world is like from this perspective of of good and evil um, and how it will affect them so with Azrael he will see so much joy and love and friendship and hope and it will be so confusing to him and scary in its in its own right and and kind of it it makes him 
look at everything he's known and kind of have a, a change inside of him, which also is just so terrifying. And then for Ezekiel, he has never known sadness. He has never known fear, um, death. So all of those things are going to be very startling for him. They're going to be very hard on him. He's a very sensitive, loving soul. And to see a world where that is not normal, seen as normal to the extent that he is, and how, he can, how he's going to learn about these things. And it's going to be very hard for him. And so the two of them are kind of trapped here together and they kind of help each other learn through the story. So yeah, that is the storyline that I have been thinking about and I am going to be writing. Um, and hopefully over the time that I work on it, I will be able to tell you guys more about what ideas I have and maybe what's going on in the story. And if I get good enough that I feel like I can read to you guys my story, then I will definitely do that too. But yeah, I'm super excited about this new storyline and I, I hope you guys are too. So that is Azrael for that storyline. And then I thought that with that storyline, my Belarus, I think her name is, would be super awesome and perfect as like another demon. She also has the pointed ears like Azrael, and so I just thought, you know, that'd be a really cool way to incorporate her into my story. So, excuse me, I want to find a repaint artist around here, um, more local in Canada. I love my my repaint artists, Mayu and um, or Maya and um, Christy Stone, but they're both in the US and so shipping costs have just gone up so much that it's gotten to the point where it will cost me so much money to ship and then back and forth and the cost of the face up and everything that I'm really hoping I can find somebody around here that will do it and it won't be as much. So yeah, she's, she's a beautiful sculpt and I'm hoping I can also find a good body for her. Uh, I'm, I've heard that Mayu bodies can work with, their skin tones do match. I'm not sure about the SD bodies, but I know the MSD bodies um, do match their, uh, the MSD heads. So she will be a, another demon and then I'm still not sure what to do about this girl so this is my I think it's the Lorena head and I put some eyes in that I love 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 they are from Etsy and she's my favorite um, eye person <laughs> um, I can't remember her name I think it's something with sugar I will try and find it and post the link down below. But um, I'm trying to figure out if I want to put her in my storyline. I don't think I do. I'm thinking that I might make her into a trill. And if you guys don't watch Star Trek, then you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But a trill is, uh, well, it's a, a race on Star Trek and they some trill have the privilege of carrying what's called a symbiote and the symbiote has lived many lives in different bodies so they kind of coexist together and um, the the symbiote kind of brings the f former host to the next uh, trail so I thought it'd be really cool if I made her a trill as well. The only question I have is I've watched a lot of Star Trek, but I don't think I've ever seen a trill that was um, this skin color. 
and I'd really like to be able to make her a trail and not have people go, well, she's not the right skin tone. <laughs> but I just, I think she would be awesome as a trail. I love trails. I think this, the, the whole idea of them having a symbiote that they learned over the years, different lifetimes, and they bring that, those lifetimes with them is just a really amazing story. And you could come up with some really cool things. So it might not be what I think they call canon, but uh, I'm going to make her a trail. Deck with it. I'm making her a trail. <laughs> so yeah, um, I haven't come up with her name yet, but I think that with the face up and everything and the storyline, hopefully I'll be able to come up with something. Uh, I have heard, like I said, the Mayu bodies can work with the Dull and Mind body um, heads. The only thing that I'm not sure of is if the tan skin will fit the Dull and Mind tan skin. So unless somebody tells me otherwise, because I have looked and looked and I can't find anybody with that answer. Does the tan skin fit um, the Dull and Mind tan skin? So if you guys know, please let me know. But um, if I don't find out, I might just risk it and get one when I pay off my my ring doll. <laughs> so yeah, those are my new storylines. Um, I hope you like them. And like I said, I will update you guys on them as I go along. But I'm excited about my first storylines that I've ever come up with for the with for my dolls so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a nice day if you like it oh i forgot to say if you like please like share and subscribe and um if you have any video ideas that you would like to see please comment down below i know lots of people want tutorials with everything going on in my life <laughs> I'm not at the point that I feel I can do a tutorial at this point. Um, I'm still trying to work on that. I have so much anxiety about teaching other people what I do. Um, I feel like I'm not the best teacher. <laughs> I've always done things by myself and so teaching somebody else how to do something that I, I kind of learn on my own has me panicked. Um, so if you guys have any other ideas, like videos you'd like to see that aren't necessarily, um, those kind of videos, then that would be great. So thank you guys so much for watching and have an awesome weekend. Bye.